You could be the most attractive guy in every room you step into, but if you have body odor, whether it's from your mouth, armpits, or clothes, you automatically go from a stud to a loser. The worst part is that your friends and coworkers might be too polite to tell you. Some guys can go through years of being avoided and rejected without knowing they smell bad. How a person smells can tell you a lot about them, and in this video, we'll be teaching you how to always step out of your home feeling and smelling your best. Let's begin. If you have an odor problem, then there's probably something wrong somewhere in your personal life, and you need to figure it out and fix it ASAP. If the title of this video had you feeling a bit defensive, we get it. You probably shower, use deodorant, and brush twice a day like you're supposed to, but somehow you still smell weird. That's because there's a lot that affects the way you smell than basic hygiene. Your environment plays a huge role in how you smell day to day, regardless of how frequently you clean yourself. Keep a fresh living space. Your environment is a reflection of you. So if you cook pungent smelling food, smoke cigarettes, have dirty bed sheets or a bed, or have some unsavory habits, that smell will eventually seep into your clothes and follow you everywhere you go. That is why it's so important that you take care of your space meticulously. Wash your sheets regularly, clean and vacuum your house, and deep clean at least once a month to catch any discarded food items or materials that can stink up your living space over time. Alongside maintaining a spotless living space, you should also make a habit of using air fresheners. A simple air wick freshener can work wonders if you place it in the right places. If you choose a mild fragrance, it will saturate your home without them being overpowering. Now that you've taken care of your living space, turn your focus inward. Have you been as thorough as you could be, or are there problem areas you've been ignoring without even realizing it? Targeting sensitive areas the mouth, hair, and face are all areas you need to watch out for because of how much sweat, oils, and moisture they can produce. The moisture and sweat make fertile breeding grounds for bacteria, and your body's sensitive areas are the first places to start smelling when something is wrong with your hygiene routine. Mouth Flossing after every meal is the cheat code to a clean, fresh-smelling, and healthy mouth. Flossing helps you get rid of food particles before they turn rotten in your mouth and cause a whole host of issues, the least of which is bad breath. Flossing regularly helps you remove plaque buildup and prevent teeth discoloration and oral diseases. Flossing is super important, but it's not the most important part of oral health. You need to clean your tongue too, preferably with a tongue scraper. It removes up to 79% more bacteria than cleaning your tongue with your toothbrush. You should know tongue bacteria are one of the primary causes of bad breath. Finish off your oral routine with an alcohol-free mouthwash. They're so great for your oral health in the long run because they help prevent tooth decay, periodontal diseases, plaque and tartar buildup, and a whole host of other issues. Hair The human head is probably one of the most underrated problem areas of the body. Thick, luscious hair is a breeding ground for all sorts of bacteria. Your hair can go from looking and smelling great to absolutely ranking in a few short weeks without proper care and attention. For most people, shampooing daily helps them deal with the problem, but if you have braids or want to keep your hair looking and feeling fresh, your hair routines have to become a little more complicated. If you're rocking a regular cut, we recommend switching from shampoo daily to using a co-wash. Co-washing is washing your hair with conditioner, and we recommend doing it daily. If you have thinner hair, opt for a lighter product, while guys with thicker hair should go with heavier products. Shampoo your hair two or three times a week. If you're rocking a braid, your hair care routine will look a lot different. You'll have to moisturize your scalp daily with natural products containing aloe vera, canola oil, tree tea oil, and shea butter to prevent issues like dry scalp, dandruff, eczema, and other serious health issues. Make sure you keep your braids clean by washing them every other week. If a full clean is not an option for you, dry wash the braids using a clean cloth, some water, and shampoo to wipe away the dirt, grime, and sweat that has accumulated on them over the weeks. Your body. If your mouth and hair are not the problem, odds are your body is. Unless you're the rare 1 out of 10 person, getting rid of your body odor can be as simple as making some small lifestyle tweaks and changing the type of body wash or soap you use. Body odor is caused by a mix of bacteria and sweat on your skin, and that odor can change due to your hormones, the food you eat, infection, medication, or underlying medical conditions like diabetes. If you sweat a lot, have tons of hair, are overweight, or exercise too much, you might start smelling bad if you don't pay special attention to your body. If you want to start smelling better, we recommend maintaining stellar personal hygiene. This means keeping your skin always clean by bathing multiple times a day. Make sure to focus on areas where you sweat the most, like your armpits and groin areas. 
You also want to keep your pits shaved so that sweat evaporates quicker and does not mix with the bacteria under your pits. Clean and loose fitting clothes are a welcome bonus and consider body washes. Body washes, whether scented or scentless, contain more hydrating and moisturizing elements, which make them more effective at heat regulation in harsher, colder weather. Scented products offer you an alternative to cologne if you're not a fragrance guy. Scent-free body washes are great because of their moisturizing elements. Down below. Speaking of moisture, below the belt is the last place you want to sweat. Thanks to the apocrine glands in the body, sweat from the armpits and privates are more likely to smell funky when they come in contact with bacteria on your skin. That means they get special attention during bath time. To ensure you have absolutely nothing to worry about, we recommend switching from toilet paper to bidets. They're less flattering but far more hygienic in the long run. If you don't like to deal with sweat down there, try premium powder. Not only do they protect from chafing, but they also reduce sweat, odor, and bacteria, keeping you feeling fresh all day long. Make sure you don't buy powder containing talc, aluminum, parabens, or menthol. They're bad for the boys. For your armpits and every other part of your body, different rules apply. Colognes and deodorants. Basically, any deodorant works as long as it smells great and contains no aluminum. We recommend gel-based products because they leave less of a mess on your clothes than sprays sometimes might. Your cologne is where you want to spend most of your energy. The wrong cologne in the wrong environment can be just as bad as a bad body odor. And that's why you need to ask yourself if you want cologne in the first place. Some guys go well with some deodorant, body wash, and taking good care of their bodies. However, if you're in the market for a significant smell, we recommend always picking one top quality cologne rather than settling for multiple cheap fragrances that you rotate depending on the occasion. Not only do higher quality colognes just last longer, but they're also typically more potent and require less volume to maintain a consistent day-long fragrance. Finally, they just smell better and are more natural. Brands like Tom Ford, Beardo, and Creed are known for their long-lasting, great-smelling scent. Sure, they're a little pricey, but they're worth the investment. Don't be afraid to invest in grooming and self-care, guys, and understand that investing in supplies that help you look and smell your best is not just for you, but also the people around you. People notice when you improve yourself. Even if they won't say anything, your efforts don't go unnoticed. Looking and smelling good also has the added benefit of boosting your confidence and improving your value in the sexual marketplace and professionally. So don't be too self-conscious to start making changes today. So, remember to take your oral health very seriously by flossing, scraping your tongue, and using non-alcoholic mouthwash. Co-wash and shampoo your hair religiously, and don't be afraid to take great care of your body using body washes, antibacterial soap, a bidet, premium powder, and deodorant. However, all of this great advice only works if you take care of your living space as much as you do yourself. If you found our segment on maintaining healthy, great-looking hair, then you'll love our deep dive into finding your signature hairstyle. We cover everything from experimenting to top strategies to narrow your search. Spoiler alert, it's not as complicated as you think.